9th of June Venerable Subhuti and a believing monk came to the Lord sat down and the Lord said to Subhuti Who Subhuti is this monk with you Sir he is a believer the son of a believing disciple he went forth from a believer's home but subhuti does he have the traditional characteristics of a believer now is the time lord to tell me the traditional characteristics of a believer then i will know whether or not this monk has them then listen carefully and i will speak concerning this a monk is virtuous he lives restrained by the rules of training he is well equipped with practice see in danger in the slightest fault and he follows the precepts and applies himself to them furthermore he has heard much he learns it in mind and remembers what he has heard those teaching that are beautiful in the beginning beautiful in the middle and beautiful in the end in both the letter and the spirit laying down the holy life in all its perfection and purity those teaching he listen to much remembers recites ponders over and penetrates with wisdom again he has a friendship with the beautiful fellowship with the beautiful companionship with the beautiful again he is pleasant to speak to endowed with the qualities that make it easy to speak to he is patient and clever at grasping the meaning of instructions yet again in all dealings with his fellows in the holy life great or small he is clever and energetic possessing the ability to give proper consideration to them knowing what is the right thing and how to do it yet again he delights in dhamma he rejoices greatly in higher dhamma and higher discipline and is pleasant to speak with about it yet again he has resolute energy for abandoning bad qualities he is stout and strong in acquiring good qualities not not circling the burden of good qualities yet again he can attain easily and without difficulty the four jhanas which are of the clearest consciousness and are connected with happiness here and now yet again he can recall his former lives 1 2 5 10 a hundred a hundred thousand yet again with god like vision purified and surpassing that of ordinary men he can see the rising and passing away of beings and finally by destruction of the defilements in this very life and by his own comprehension he attains freedom of mind freedom through wisdom and abides in it these subhuti are the traditional characteristics of a believer